Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And what the hell is going on with Disney? There's a lot going on with Disney. There is a lot going on with Disney behind the scenes. We're going to talk about this because uh, there have been some um, big announcements for park fans that I think you know, we were talking before we started recording that were designed to razzle dazzle. Right. They had a bunch of announcements of new things coming, but it seems like Disneyland's getting the lion's share of that benefit. Um, and then today, the chairman of the board gets removed. So basically yes. what, what happened to Chapek happened to her. And and now there's someone trying to take it over. And it's just a big old, like, holy shit, get the popcorn. Yeah, and the weird thing is, is I actually mentioned in a video talking about their stock price. Their stock price is actually up now. But it's up to like $96 a share now. It was like $85 a share just mm -hmm. a little bit ago. And it's, it's actually going up. Um. There were some groups trying to buy up a bunch of stock from stockholders. Did about you get a video about that? I talked about I, You know, I mentioned it a little bit in the video. Mostly it was about their stock price dropping off a cliff. But I'm like, could this trigger some kind of a fight for Disney? Could this trigger a hostile takeover? Could it, well, I, I don't know. Apparently there's a, a potential proxy fight with one of their uh, investor groups. And uh, they've got a new chairman of the board. And it is crazy this, this like i don't know what the end result of this is going to be but it seems like everybody's taking advantage taking advantage of the turmoil going on yeah. at disney and the low stock price and yeah i, I don't it, know it's, it's it's weird it's like getting really weird it's getting really weird guys so let's let's talk about this disney might be in a fight for its life we don't know what's going to happen before we get into it any further please subscribe for more pop culture news views and rants over 286,000. Yay, thank, thank you. you. Thank you for the support. Please subscribe. If you haven't subscribed already, YouTube was doing some weird stuff the other day. They were making analytics disappear for everybody. Just like, it's like their magic trick. Yeah, like three or four days. I'm like, well, as long as the ad revenue doesn't just magically disappear. Hope it didn't. You know, so make sure you're still subscribed because I don't really trust, I don't really trust the, uh, the bots over at YouTube to do their job correctly. Um, so let's let's talk about this. This is the big news. Hollywood Reporter, Disney proxy fight, board shakes up as activist investor claims self-inflicted woes are plaguing the company. Well, they're not wrong. They're not wrong. They're not wrong, but they're definitely taking advantage, I think, of the, the situation. Ooh, this is getting good. So Nike executive Mark Parker will lead the board while investor Nelson Peltz's fund expressed concern that Disney leaders failed to effectively communicate the financial rationale behind the strategic pivot. Okay. Um, so Susan Arnold is gone. She's out the damn door. Now Susan Arnold became the chairman of the board when, when Bob Iger left as a chairman of board at the end of 2021. Then she's the one who McCarthy called up and got, you know, Chapek ousted by. And now she's getting ousted and yeah. they're putting in um mark, mark Park. parker <laughs> now they're saying she's she's stepping down because her departure is consistent with disney's 15-year board term limit. no 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 there's something else going on here for sure yeah uh, but then they mentioned that her stepping down it was going to drop the number of board members down to 11. Mm -hmm. so you know what i mean if it was it was a planned departure wouldn't they have someone waiting to be uh, at it i don't think this was planned yeah. any more than bob chapek getting pushed mm -hmm. out was planned and the company is weak right now and I think there are a lot of uh, a lot of vultures hovering. This is like this is like the Game of Thrones. It is Game of Mouse Ears. The Game and, of Mouse Ears. And then everybody's like, but, you know, everybody's calling each other up. Like Iger was calling people to get himself back in, and I think that you know, this Mark was calling people up with his vision to get himself put in charge. Who knows? But it's it's, it's like all cloak and dagger. It is. Uh, so who's pulling the strings? Who's pulling the strings here? So this is their statement. Mark Parker's vision. This is uh, this is Mark Mark Parker. Let's get a picture of Mark. He is Parker. yeah. This he was like the executive of the, the executive of the board, or chief of the board for Nike or something. Yeah. Executive chairman. Executive chairman. It was something. I've written a lot of articles today. Anyway, are they, are they gonna do more with Run Disney now because he's. he's hey, on the you board. know I'm not I'm not against that because I like Run Disney. Anyway. Mark Parker's vision, incredible depth of experience, and wise counsel have been invaluable to Disney, and I look forward to continuing working with him in his new role along with our other directors as we chart the future course for this amazing company, said Bob Iger. 
On behalf of my fellow board members and the entire Disney management team, I also want to thank Susan for her superb leadership as chairman and for her tireless work over the past 15 years as a exemplary steward of the Here's Disney Here's the thing. Brand. If her 15 years up and it was all because of that, they would have been already like, hey, she's going to be leaving soon. We're trying to find a replacement. Yes. You would have heard about it. It wasn't just, hey, here's the meeting. She's gone. And they're going to put a spin on like, well, it was planned. She was, it was planned. She just came into the chairman role and there were a lot of big changes when she came in and now she's out the damn door. Well, what's also interesting is that Parker is going to be leading up the committee and that the, the succession planning committee. And I noticed in the write ups, they said to look at candidates internally and externally as well. They're not only looking internally for candidates for CEO. Elon Musk, let that sink in. No. That'd be funny. No. Uh, the company also disclosed it's facing a proxy fight from activist investor N Nelson Peltz and his fund, uh, Tryon Partners. Uh, Tryon has nominated Peltz to serve on the board in a presentation published on January 11th. The investment firm described many of Disney's challenges as self-inflicted. They're not wrong. And advocated for the entertainment giant to restore its dividend by fiscal 2025, Ooh. seek more uh, efficiencies and additional profits and express concern that Disney management's direct to consumer streaming push with Disney plus failed to effectively communicate the financial rationale behind the strategic pivot. Well, to be fair, if they hadn't done that, they would have gone out of business when COVID hit. That is, that's actually pretty accurate because they're, yeah, the theme parks were down, the theaters were down, and that was Disney's business model. It basically, Disney's business depended on, you know, other than consumer products, it depended on people going to theaters and going to theme parks, and they, they weren't. And um, yeah, so Disney Plus saved their ass, basically. But there's a lot of questions about how much money they were actually spending on it. Uh, Peltz's fund went on to elaborate its concerns with Disney Plus, adding, we are surprised that Disney's best in class IP franchises and scale have not led to uh, inline, if not superior, unit economics compared with Netflix, which generally lacks high quality franchise IP. Oh, I can tell you why. A couple things. They they are ruining Marvel. They've ruined Star Wars. Um, they were basically trying to crap out as much as possible. And sometimes the quality wasn't there. And Netflix has had years and years and years and they had more money to put into it. I think than Disney did. Yeah, that's true. Netflix isn't running theme parks and everything else too. Well, I said they claim that Netflix is more cost effective in its production and programming costs compared to Disney. That is true. Disney spent well. You can see the the degradation of expense from the first couple of Marvel and Star Wars shows through the most current. In fact, um, uh, I think it was Man Baby Johnson on Twitter. I think that's the account. But he posted a side by side of Return of the Jedi Gamorrean Guard compared to the Gamorrean Guard in Book of Boba Fett, and it was just a fat guy with green body paint. <laughs> well, I was thinking the Obi-Wan, the, the, the force field, they couldn't go around, or the, the, the gate they had to go, you know, they could literally walk around on their side, but, you know. Disney magic, Disney logic. The activist investor also specified it's not looking to oust Iger or spin off assets like ESPN, but that the fund is for ensuring successful CEO succession within two years, meaning it's looking for Iger to leave oh, that role. Oh. So basically, it's afraid Iger's not going to. They're afraid Iger's not going to leave, so they want to take control to make sure that he leaves. Hence the new the the new uh, chairman being in, on the committee to find a replacement. Yeah, it's like okay, Palpatine, you step down when Ooh. when you do your job. Yeah. Disney board disclosed a statement that remains open to constructive engagement and ideas that help drive shareholder value. Uh, senior leadership of the Walt Disney Company as board of directors have engaged with Mr. Peltz numerous times over the last few months. The board does not endorse the Tryon Group nominee and recommends that shareholders not support its nominee. Instead, vote for all the company's nominees. Of so course it does. Both of the people who are going to do what we want. I mean, I, I don't know what this person's plan is, but I also don't think, hey, vote for who we tell you to vote for is actually, you know, that makes me concerned. This sounds like they're they're kind of putting a guillotine over their heads, right? Like you better do what you said you were going to do within two years mm -hmm. or there's going to be a problem. Right. And they're like, well, don't vote for them because they're going to hold us accountable. Vote for people we said to hold vote for. Yeah. And it's letter asking shareholders for support. The Disney board also went on to or into some detail about Iger's mission. Mr. Iger's mandate is to use his two year term and depth of experience in the industry to adapt the business model for the shifting media landscape, rebalancing investment with revenue opportunity while bringing a renewed focus on the creative talent that has made the Disney company the envy of the industry. Well, they've been lacking there. 
Mr. Iger has already taken decisive steps to realign content creation and distribution and reposition Disney's streaming platforms and linear broadcast and cable networks blah, for blah, 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 enhanced blah, blah, profitability. Blah, blah. No, it sounds to me like, um, it sounds to me like, yeah, they're, they're basically like you shape up or we're going to, we're going to stir the shit. Well, this is also very interesting. Hollywood reporters Kim Master said that Parker played a critical role in getting um, Chapek removed, convincing Arnold it was the right move. And then they got rid of Arnold. Well, no, no, her fifteen years oh, up bullshit. that no one ever mentioned ever until she's suddenly gone. This is this is effing Game of Thrones. This is, it's something, man. I'm telling you what, it's getting good. Like Mama Odie, this is getting good. Do you still think Disney is fine? Do you all still think that everything's okay? Because I think it's going to come out that things were much, much worse, much, much worse than we thought they were. I think there, there was potentially cooking of the books. And uh, this is all like... Well, that's, what, that's what they've been saying. That's what the whistleblower said. That's I'm what the whistleblower saying. was saying. That's what other people have told us. Um, so this is what's going on now. But yesterday, let's back it up a little bit. So this comes after yesterday. They made a bunch of announcements for Disney Parks, Disney World, Disneyland about things they were going to do to make customers happy. Because, you know, customers have been complaining about all the nickel and diming and the price gouging and the bullshit that Disney keeps spinning. And now they're going to do some stuff for you. Okay, so if you're Walt Disney World, here's what they've changed. You remember when the parking was free at the hotels, if you stayed overnight, the Disney Parks hotels, and then they started charging you for it? Well, as of last night, they stopped charging you again and brought it back to where it used to be free. Okay, so that's that's going to make up for. Hey, you know who instituted? I know that was it was Bob Bob I Iger. Bob Iger. Um, yes. It was, so yeah. that was the first thing okay. that started last night. Okay, the next thing, if you are an annual pass holder, someday in the, in the next few months in the future, if you don't, because we're hoping you forget about this. You know, we're just telling you this to, to make it look good for the board. The meeting was apparently today. Um. That if you're an annual pass holder, eventually you will not, if you're going to go to the park after two o'clock when it would be park hopping time anyway, you will not need a park pass reservation unless you're using it to go to Magic Kingdom on Saturday and Sunday. Other than that, if you're an annual pass holder and you're going in after two, you don't need a stupid park pass reservation. Um, and that, so that, only, that only impacts annual pass holders and it's sometime in the next few months. And then the third thing for Disney World guests is, hey, cool beans, you know those pictures I take of you on the, the attractions and you can like, you know, get if you have photo pass, you can get copies of those. If you buy Genie Plus, they're going to give you those pictures on your Genie Plus at no additional cost. So they're complimentary or free uh, park, you know, digital ride attraction pictures of you on the rides. Only if you buy Genie Plus. And I bring that up many times, there'll be a reason here shortly. In the next few months sometime. If, you know, hoping you forget about it, they never have to bring, bring it in. Meanwhile, Disneyland, if you switch to Disneyland, is getting $104 park tickets. Okay, they already had $104 park tickets as their lowest ticket option. But now, they, you know, they're starting February 4th. I think that's right now. Never mind. That's right now. They are have done two months, about two months more worth of $104 tickets that you can go there, you can go find throughout the year on their park you know, reservation that there's the tickets are that lowest price. Now the tickets can go up to like $170, but they, they raised the amount of $104 minimum price tickets to get in. Meanwhile, Walt Disney World, 109 is the lowest park one day ticket you can get. And the $109 is only on like 20 days in August and September. I think the next lowest is like $129, but most of the prices you'll find are in the $130 to $140, $140 range. They go up to $150 plus and they go, they go $129, but they mostly stay in that middle. So you don't have to pay for park, you don't have to pay for hotels at Disney Park Hotels for parking. But now you, you still have to pay $150 a day or whatever you're going to be paying to get in the parks while... Disneyland got a bunch of $104 low price tickets. Yeah. But that's not all. Oh, but wait, there's more. But wait, there's more. Oh, wait, there's more. Disneyland, starting on February 4th, so they get actual dates, right? The $104 tickets are already available. The, uh, we know February 4th, Disneyland, everybody who's a ticketed person at Disneyland is going to get the same damn thing that you get at Walt Disney World, but you don't have to buy Genie Plus. You're going to get the digital photos of your attraction photos if you're a ticket, if you just have a ticket to the parks, you don't have to buy a fucking Genie Plus at Disneyland for 25 bucks a day plus. 
no, 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 you get it for free just because you bought a, a ticket, even a $104 ticket. So at Disney World, you don't have to pay for hotel parking, but you have to buy Genie Plus to get photos, and the cheapest tickets are $109, um, but they're mostly like the $130 and $140. I am I'm not trying to be that guy, but Disneyland is, and I love Disneyland. I grew up going to Disneyland, not Disney World, because I live in California. Um... Disneyland is more of a locals park. Disney World is where a lot of people come from all over the world to spend ungodly amounts of money. So they're going to bleed you dry. Translation, there. they know Disney World's busier, so they're going to keep the prices up at Disney yes, World. Yes, absolutely. But it's a load of shit. So you've been jacking up stuff at Disney World more than Disneyland for the most part anyway. And then you're going to turn around and give Disneyland a bunch of discounts. And then, you know, different things. And Disney World gets kind of, and then they have dates that they actually begin. Disney World has one thing that they for sure are doing. The other things are in the future, maybe. We're saying so. so yeah, in a few months. In a few months, maybe possibly. Until you forget. Remember remember all the uh, blue sky non-announcements yes. at, at D23? Like someday, maybe possibly, we'll be allowed to build another park. Someday, maybe possibly, we'll uh, do something with Animal Kingdom. Someday, maybe possibly, we'll do something on the other side of Thunder Mountain. But hmm, who knows? If you keep the prices high at Disney World, not give them any kind of discount unless they buy this $25 Genie Plus. Honestly, in your family of four, if you have a family of four and you pay Genie Plus a day, you could have bought Photo Pass anyway for the whole trip, you know? Um, and that's just one day's worth of Genie Plus. That's stupid. They can bring back the Magical Express. They can bring back, you know, something else that they've cut. And they cut Fast Pass and cut all kinds of shit. Free, bring back the free complimentary Magic Bands. There you go. That's I mean... Let's make it fair here, Disney. They don't, yeah, they're they're just trying to, and look, we talked about this with the Galactic Star Cruiser. It really feels like they're feeling the pinch right now. And the pinch for them. They're they're getting pinched. And I, I think they're I think they're trying very hard to get people in and be like, look, guys, I know we took away eight things, but we're gonna give you one or two of those things back, kind of sort of oh, maybe. Well, if you're Disney World, you, you get one thing so far. So far. But Disneyland's gonna get all kinds of deals. Free parking. And the other deal you only get if you pay $25 per person per day to get it. So, um, well, I can't wait until they announce their next big attraction, Magic Kingdom. It's called Apple Mountain. No, I thought it was gonna be, there's no attraction. It's just you give them money. Oh yeah, we've been saying that. We did, look, we've been telling people this. This is, this is who they are, man. This you give them money for the, for the, the honor of looking at an Instagram wall. Yeah, so um, I don't know guys. I mean, we're gonna keep you posted on what's going on. I don't even think the, the trades really fully understand what's going on because this is a very sudden change we don't fully understand what's going on even though you did know about the shares and they were they were saying someone was trying to buy them there up. were yeah there it were was this guy there were yeah there were a couple groups actually that were trying to buy your shares they were like hey guys sell us your shares because and disney's like don't sell them your shares because they're trying to get more power to be able to put their own people in on the board well the people they have on the board haven't been doing a very good job so far and that's they? what they're saying they're like you guys suck you've you've screwed up i mean you've screwed up so bad that we got to come in and you know clean clean house and uh, Iger, you're not staying more than two years. That's it, man. Two years. It's like the scene from Sorcerer's Apprentice with Mickey and the Mobs. Yeah. All right. So we're going to wrap this up. Yep. Uh, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We'll talk later. Bye.